first thing he said, he put, I have big hands. He put out his big hand and he looked straight in my eyes. He said, Michael, all I want to be is your friend. Let me be your friend. Oh, I said, Mr. Wayne, I'm flattered. I, I want to be your friend. He said, call me Duke. I said, yes, Mr. Wayne. <laughs> I just didn't have, the, the, at that time, feel that I was worthy and earned it. I hadn't earned it to call him Duke at that time. And what little time I did spend with him, I cherish, uh, certainly cherish the rest of my life. Because what you see is what you got. He was a man's man. The women loved him. He was genuine, honest, sincere, uh, great American uh, patriot, and his dignity and, 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 and character, and heroic. He was he was very special. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where do you see the? Uh, I'm sorry, you got me. Yeah. Uh, where do you see the, uh, you were saying that you sort of fear that the, the, there'll be no more Westerns. Do you, do you think in your hopeful state, where do you think Westerns are going? Well, I, I'm, uh, I hope that we continue to, to make uh, Westerns. There has to be people there that want to finance the Western. You can't make a Western without money. You need the money and the passion to uh, make the Western. So you have to have uh, the continuation and the propagation of the love for, for the American uh, genre. This is Americana, you know. It isn't uh, uh, iPod to the making of the kids with the toys and so forth. They're not paying attention to American history. The, 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 the mothers and fathers, you have to continue to uh, take them to see the Westerns, you know. Uh, it's like American jazz, you know, which is, is Americana. You got to take the kid by the hand and uh, introduce him uh, to the art uh, of, of American jazz. Same thing with the Westerns. You can't, you, you can't ignore them and, and uh, uh, you, you've got to take them and introduce them uh, to these, uh, these characters. And, and part of American history, this was America, what it was all about. You know, in, in the, if you're on the 18th, uh, the 19th century, in, in the mid 1800s, and so forth, this was America uh, was all about. This is how they blazed the West, and they they fought the Native Americans. I mean, the American Native Americans were a great race of people that uh, lend to so much character to our country to make our country what what it is. These were men of character, men of courage that uh, built this country and uh, lived and died uh, so that you and I could uh, be, uh, reap the harvest of all the, the things that, that we have that are worthwhile in this country. We need to, to be uh, uh, patriotic and we need to look, look back at our heroes that uh, uh, built this country and, and, and made it uh, what it is. And the, certainly the Western genre genre is there to remind us who, who these uh, heroes were that uh, you know they didn't they didn't live long in those days Mike you know they if you lived to be 40 40 or 45 years old, you were an old man you know the, uh, there was the diet the food and what have you the weather and all the elements uh, look where we've come so uh, you, this is what they did and they did. They did it in a short period of time, and uh, left their, you know, their their graves along the way to to get to one coast to another, and and uh, so that we could. Now uh, they brought the railroad. They brought they brought so much, uh, you know, of uh, industry and their trading and and built America, which was uh, so energetic and so uh, marvelous. It's a great part of history. And it should be taught in schools. I don't think it's it's not it's not taught in schools. I think uh, they're uh, they're eliminating that. And if there is any uh, degree of of that kind of education, I, I hope uh, that they're teaching it. But I, I don't see it, and I don't hear about it. You know, and and, and that's 
you, you've got to teach it. You've got to remind the young people where they came from, what, what, they, what our forefathers did so that they can be comfortable doing what they do, uh, their little toys and so forth and so on. Just from the point of view of being a fan, what, 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 are, your, what are your favorite Western movie? Whether oh, the greatest, greatest, for me, the greatest Western of all time, Stagecoach. Stagecoach is my favorite. And then if I had to, uh, um, the other two, two, let's say three all together, I'd say Red River and The Searchers. John Ford was the greatest, he was a genius. He was a true genius and the greatest uh, director of uh, Western films in the history of our business, no question about it. Were Just, there any television Westerns that you felt that you enjoyed? Or? Oh, my, my favorite uh, was uh, Bonanza. Bonanza to me was the epitome of family in Americana. When you, uh, when you incorporate family, God, and country, and then uh, you have my respect and uh, uh, love because I was brought up to love family. I love God and country, my country. I'm a patriot. I love my country. And I'm concerned about uh, my country. And I want... Uh, want to see that, uh, that we live in peace and, and love and, and education and uh, make it better for uh, and me personally. Hopefully I've left some things behind in the entertainment field and the motion picture business that uh, people enjoyed. And certainly I, I enjoyed uh, doing those uh, films and, and television shows and that I left something behind that was worthwhile and somebody said, well, you know what, you were one of my favorites and I liked you, uh, your work in this film and this television show and so forth. And uh, that's my reward, that I, I, I'm uh, being appreciated and be appreciated long after I'm gone because uh, of what we have here. We have film and that film could last forever. Well, I just want to say that I think you, you did a great service for the Native American community. Because in your portrayal, especially in Winterhawk, uh, of the Native American, you brought a three-dimensionality and made them humans thank for you. all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Because uh, um, the nobility and the dignity of the, that character was based really on the spiritual aspect that was not written. It wasn't written in the script. There was not a word about he being a spiritual man. I made him a spiritual man. I saw in it, oh, I could lay the characters, uh, the character of this man on the foundation that he would make decisions based on a greater essence than ego. It's my, my personal feeling about ego Ego killed more people than cheesecake. So the Winterhawk's decision were made based on a greater essence, so that when he related to the, the moon, the sun, the stars, the wind, the sound, and all the elements, and the wildlife, and uh, his spiritual belief of beyond, there is a greater force. And he related to that to make a decision. And based on his communication with that, uh, that essence, he was able to make his decisions, not based on ego. I got to stop him. Yeah. For me, the greatest Western of all time, Stagecoach. Stagecoach is my favorite. And then if I had to, uh, um, the other two, two, let's say three all together, I'd say Red River and the searchers. John Ford was the greatest, he was a genius. He was a true genius and the greatest uh, director of uh, Western films in the history of our business, no question about it.